Hello there, my name is Mr. Smartonkey. Welcome back to episode 5 of our Rome 2 co-op let's play with Mr. Uh, Mr. Smart. What the hell? With Wishmaster Ptolemy. That's Mr. Wishmaster Ptolemy, <laughs> do you? Hey there. <laughs> Dr. Wishmaster Ptolemy. Yeah, I'm, I'm a professor. I'll have you know. <laughs> right, so uh, I honestly don't really know what happened last time. I, I'm completely drawing a blank because I'm doing three separate let's plays on this game right now. Well, I'll tell you what happened last time. Okay, you tell. Last time you we tell them, girl. Last time we tried to record this set, oh, we are and then okay, yeah. the game crashed. So we have no idea where we are. That's why. Yeah, I uh, yeah, I wasn't gonna mention it, but I figured I might as well. Yeah. Um, it wasn't that long, really. So. No, yeah, we recorded for maybe 20, 25, maybe half an hour or something like that. And, half um, of which was the end turn thing, anyway. <laughs> nothing yeah. happened. You missed nothing. So um, yeah, what happened is the the. Uh, rebels here in Lilybaeum uh, started growing, which is cool. They actually get more units over time, and then oh, they yeah. took Lilybaeum from me, uh, which was obviously on purpose because I want uh, Ptolemy to get it eventually. Uh, besides that, I think I may have been starting to build Maybe. my army here in Carthage, um, which is then gonna wage war somewhere here in uh, in Africa. Uh, besides that, I only really have one thing to do, to which is attack these ships over here, which are not gonna flee. I didn't actually mean to attack them with uh, my army, but it works. <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly thought they were blockading me, so I figured I'd just attack them with the um, with the army, but that doesn't work. Anyway, I'm going to put them slightly closer, just so they come in reinforcement range. Oh yeah, and they were, um, yeah, because you brought the plague over to me, they actually have the plague on them. Yeah, but that'll be, that'll be fine soon. Yep. And these guys that you're attacking now, even if you don't kill them now, they'll be dead next turn anyway, because of attrition. Yeah, exactly. Um... Yeah, this, any state will do. One, obviously. Increase Have you range. noticed nice. that when you select a unit, like, on the battle map, and the picture with the guy pops up, and the the list, army list pops up, you lose, like, a shitload of FPS. Uh, okay, say that again. What what do you do when, and then when, what, 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 what? When you select an army that's yeah. on the map, Yeah. Actually, when you select it and it's in combat, I should say. Oh, right, yeah. You lose a shitload of FPS. Oh, yeah, you're right. I it's, have no idea why. It's so weird. Because it doesn't happen when you just normally select a regular one. But when they're in combat, it, like, halves the FPS. Yes, there's, there's a few things in this game that are very FPS heavy for some particular reason. I think it's just because it's badly coded. Hopefully yeah. they fix it in a patch. I, uh, I reckon that's uh, definitely something they will fix at some point. Well, they got to. <laughs> Anyway, um, right, that, that, I think that's my turn done. I think besides that, I probably left off uh, somewhere on the end of my turn. So this army in Atlalia, I think I was said I was probably going to send it up north or something, but I don't think I will. Um, I might actually uh, match it up with the... Ar I don't know. Maybe I'll send it over to Spain and have, have them help out over there. I honestly don't know. I think I'll, what I'll do first is I'll take them back to Carfish and then make it into a proper army. Uh, because I have, I can actually recruit better units now, which are the Libyan infantry in Carthaginian hoplites. They are definitely a tad better than the Libyan hoplites that I've had so far. Well, honestly, these guys you've got right now, they have no experience and nothing. So honestly, you could just disband them and start a brand uh, new army with that general. I probably could, although what... Um, It'd save you money in the short term. Yeah, that's true, although I, um, I tend to want to have... Um, like six units of the crappier infantry anyway as throwaway units at least for the time being because upkeep costs and all that sort of stuff oh, fair enough it's up to you I'm just saying that's an option for you it definitely is an option oh um I'll give it some thought uh, I have oh right I haven't apparently a general leveled up I forgot to do his level up thingy uh, it's telling me to do it so um, he can have a household which gives him plus five percent melee attack skill for all infantry units that's amazing uh, not <laughs> um, when he leveled up, I'll give him some. He's already got a bunch of zeal, or uh, authority, so I'll, I'll add, a, add some extra authority for him. And I don't care about the household thing because, um, in uh, melee infantry, I don't have any melee infantry for that because uh, it's a navy and it's all levies or whatever it is. Yeah, who needs melee infantry in a navy? Well, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> if they have, if they're faster and you can board with them, then they're probably quite good. I suppose so. I'm right. kind of interested in what's going on over in Greece, because I know they've got a war on right now. Oh, this is so laggy. Speed up. <laughs> Just get <laughs> through the lag faster. 
Oh god. And My turns. FPS is actually fine right now, it's just really laggy. I have no idea why. Yeah, I'm not sure. I just, just have a seizure. I've learned to accept it. Yeah. Now, I... someone said that we should cut out the the the, the, the end turn things on one of my comments, and yeah. I'm inclined to agree. I am also, but it takes a shit ton of editing, and I feel like if they don't want to watch it, they can just skip forward two minutes, and that's the same thing, basically. I suppose so. I'm just thinking from this point onwards, I'm just going to stop recording at the end of a turn and start again on the next one. All right. Well, yeah. I, for me, it would be editing out because I'm obviously doing Audacity for my own audio, and oh, um, yeah, it's a massive pain for you, and I don't bother yeah, with that. Yeah. Well, so, you'll uh, have behind-the-scenes footage that I won't have. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So go to his channel if you don't want to watch the intern, and go to mine if you I don't want to watch it or you want to skip it. You're welcome <laughs> to do so. Or watch it on both if you want to support both of us. Obviously. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Just uh, buy a second monitor if you don't have one already. Just turn them both on, sync them right up. Yeah, funny story, I have four monitors right now. Lol. I only have two plugged in, but I have four. Admittedly, one is in the cupboard, but, you know, <laughs> I, I do have it at least. Yeah. yeah. I have two, and I guess I could hook up my TV, but I'm not interested. Uh, I'm half tempted to use my TV, to be honest. It's a 36, 36 inch TV and I've never used it and it has like component input so I probably could actually connect my machine to it. Like you never used it for watching TV either or? Uh, it's connected to my Xbox right now oh, and right. I don't own any Xbox games. The only time I use it is either when I borrow a game from a friend because they're done with it or if I want to watch a DVD which is quite rare. Right. Because half the time I'll just go and watch it on the bigger screen downstairs. Yeah. So I just have it because we have this TV, and that's the only reason I've got it. <laughs> I just don't use it for anything. I mean, I completed I, Halo 4 on it, but that's about it. I have a TV which I I never watch TV except for um, when I'm when I'm off to bed, and I just uh, watch a bunch of Comedy Central before going to sleep. <laughs> which is why my uh, <laughs> this is why my sleeping pattern usually gets so fucked. Like I go to bed sometimes I go to bed at reasonable times. And then I just watch TV for hours, and it's like, oh crap, boy, well, I screwed over my sleeping pattern by just watching TV. That was great. <laughs> I have no sleeping pattern. I haven't had one since I was about 13. Uh, I, I, it's 27 I, now, by the way, so that's 14 years of no sleep pattern. <laughs> I, call it, I call it a pattern, but it's not a pattern. I don't know how else to call it. Yeah. See, they'd be missing out on so much if they don't watch the end turn sequences. I know, right? Because we just natter about meaningless bullshit. Yeah, we're not even bothering with Rome 2 right now. It's just about. <laughs> it's not like TVs we can do anything, shit. is it? <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah, it's our Rodos. turn again. It's <laughs> it's like there's a, a third person playing with us. It's taking forever to do his turn. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, come on. There we go. Yeah. Etruscan League are gone. I have a mission to recruit a champion, which will give me martial skill for three turns. So plus five percent of champion success um, champion is actually not horrible you can put them in an army and then they uh, give you experience over time oh okay well nice. I suppose that's quite good yeah I've never really used them but I know it's it can get quite strong well seeing as I have an army in Rome right now and I will be bringing another one back maybe I actually should recruit one recruit agent I just um, realized by the way that it's gonna take forever before I get uh, Julius Caesar Oh wait, uh, even on my, I mean on my single player let's play actually by the way. Cause, oh um, probably. Because obviously the game starts at like 270 something BC I believe. Yeah. And what, he was born in uh, something 80, like 80, no, a little bit before that, 100 and something, 102 BC or something? I don't remember. Or, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't remember either. See, I have three options I think he was... for veterans here, and they all are all exactly the same. I mean, there is no difference between any of them. Lol. Are you like? Do you hover over the star? The star. Ah. Uh, oh. Okay. I think I think he died at like 44 AD or 44 BC. I don't remember. Uh, possibly. But I just wanted to say that because otherwise people are gonna think I'm like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. Okay, this guy gives me better experience training wise. So. Oh, that's actually good. Yeah. So I'll get him and he can join the first legion when they get back over here because they're on the sea right now so they can go and get over here 
Yeah, wow, that uh, that yellow line really does make them lag like like nothing else in the world. Yeah, it's retarded. Yeah. All right, so. Oh, there he is. He looks pretty cool, doesn't he? Yeah. Oh, I remember what happened last time. It crashed because I was trying to change guys around in my army. Oh, right. And uh, that killed it. I'm going to get rid of these levies because I don't want them. They yeah. They go away. I did that too in my single player. Yeah, because they're weak as shit. I'll keep the Vilates for now. But uh, at the moment, I just want rid of all the Vilates because they are shit. Okay, let's see if it's going to crash when I try to do this. So I want to take the guy with more experience into Legion 1. There we go. There we go. And the guy from Legion... Uh, yeah. Actually, I want to take the, the Velate as well. Velay, technically. For those of you who are uh, boning up on your Latin. I always say Velites. Apparently that's what they call themselves on the game. Well, they're wrong. Because <laughs> it's supposed to be pronounced uh, Velites, but a Vile is a individual one. So an individual unit. See, I but suppose, you, you, you say that one. it's pronounced uh, Velites, but I'm not so sure. Well, you, like... can't, you, you can't trust people who do voiceover acting. Like, if you ever played Chivalry, they call trebuchets trebuchets. Yeah, I know, I know. You can't but, trust voice actors. But, um, like, just like Triari instead of Triari, I, I've read it so many times. I still I... don't believe it. I haven't <laughs> looked it up, but I still don't believe it. I definitely do. Oh, wow, selecting these units makes me lag like a motherfucker, and I have no clue why. I think it's the, that 3D picture of the general, which just looks terrible anyway. Can I turn that off? We can ask people to leave a comment if it's uh, Velites is one or Velites two, <laughs> or just say the way Mr. Smart Donkey pronounces it, Velites, or the way Ptolemy pronounces it, Velites. Yeah, and if I'm wrong, I don't care because it sounds better. <laughs> I, I, I just don't care. That's a good reason, reason as any. Yeah. Oh fuck me, lag. Right. Let's. I'm, I'm going to send my spy oh, down to Syracuse to assassinate people just because I can. That's a good idea. Yeah. Just I can't believe piss them off. I can't believe I have Hannibal as <laughs> as a leader and he's the only one I'm not using. He's in Carthage. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Well, he can't invade Rome, so he's sort of lost as to what he should be doing. Yeah. Well, he can still go through Spain and all that. Yeah, he could. All right. I have one more turn until I get my manipular barracks. I can make a proper Roman army. I. I do also want to upgrade some other stuff as well, but I don't think that I can, apparently. It's not giving me any options to, other than this stuff here. Uh, do I want better consecrated ground? No, not really. Do I want better Roman villages? Not particularly. I mean, it gives me more money, so I suppose I probably should, but it costs food as well. How much food am I... Is the, where does it say how much food you're getting excess per turn because I know I've got 24 right now but it doesn't really tell me anything mm, well it's not like per turn you just you just have 24 right now yeah but you you get an income per turn you, it builds up no only if you build new buildings that give you like more okay so that's your grand title then uh yeah yeah it is so like if you were to build another building it gives four for example then when that building is done it'll give you another four okay gotcha right well in that case um, let's expand Rome, and I'm going to do some work on like Brindisium down here. Oh, I've actually got an undeveloped land in here I can put in, so let's do that. And I'll put something in there next turn, but what? I'll do it as fast as possible, because otherwise you're going to develop slums again. Yeah, that'd be a pain in the ass. Let's actually cancel that thing in Rome, then I can probably afford to do it. Yeah, I can afford to put something in here. I could put a training field, consecrated ground, Suburbia, or a public forum. I think I would go for Suburbia, it will give me more money. And that, I think, is that, because all my armies are getting retrained and such at the moment. So, let's end turn. It's really annoying that you can't do anything while I'm doing everything. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to add some, add some uh, uh, seas from the plague that you brought over to me. Thank you. Well, uh, unhappy populace and Magna Gracia, that's fine. I hope they rebel even further soon. Uh, plus 50% construction costs, a local province as a uh, trade. Thank you. It's for my admiral, though, so it gives a shit. 
<laughs> uh, population surplus in Carfit. Carted. Oh, and it's a cart had a shit. Nice. <laughs> uh, it had a shit. That's a lot of day. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I do actually maybe want to make here some something here, but maybe later. I just I'm so confused because I'm like I'm I played a lot more uh, as Rome, so I like I have everything all set up and and now I have to do it all over again. <laughs> it's like ah. Um, helps you learn the game. You can't they say that. I guess. Uh, let's see. I want to get something that gives me. Um, yeah, spreads Punic culture plus three. The shrine of Balhamon. I'll have that in Kartuba. The shrine of Richard Hammond. Sure. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see, I'm getting 17 from military presence. That's not good. I want to move out to Kartuba soon. Kartuba and Gadira are the two parts of this province, which sucks because Gadira is part, uh, owned by Nova Cartago, and that's my ally. I kind of mm. really want to attack them at some point because I'm getting a little annoyed by them being all over my face. They seem quite strong, though. I mean, they've also got control of that island there. Yeah, I know. Which actually, it's a funny thing. Um, oh yeah, and that island's actually part of Cart shit, which again annoying because I need to take that. Um, but what's funny is that if you go into the, like the menu screen and you start a new game and you select Carthage, it actually says that those islands, uh, Ebossum, are supposed to be yours as well. I think that's probably what they meant to do at some point, but then they changed it. But they never changed that picture that says that you get them as well. Oh well, so, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, anyway, what can I do? 750 bucks, not a whole lot. I'm gonna move my army out of Alalia. Can I though? How happy is this town if I leave? Um, minus four. God, why is everyone so unhappy? Why actually are you unhappy? Provincial instability, and it's gonna go away. Because you gave them plague. <laughs> <laughs> You'd think that that would have something to do with it. You would think. Um, you think they'd be happy to survive. Yeah, that's true. Right, yeah, these units are... How long are they going to take to get back? Two turns. My elephants uh, are going to take three turns. Actually, that's not bad at all. You know what? I might leave them there. I think what I'll do is I'll recruit men here in Carthage, and then I'll bring them over, and then I'll mix up those two armies together. And then from Alalia or something, I'll move over to Spain with that army, I reckon. That and one. then I think Hannibal is going to actually use the army, so I'll just hover over the, or take those units from there and put them into... Hannibal's army. Does anyway, Hannibal have elephants? Uh, no. Mm. That would've been nice, wouldn't it? He sh he ought to have elephants. Uh, screw you, yeah, yeah. Sc screw you, Hannibal. You're gonna stay here, and hopefully you get elephants. How old are you anyway? Now, he is uh, 48. Oh, he's probably not gonna ever be in any war. So too bad for him. Yeah. Uh, right. So I have six Libyan hoplites here, two Libyan javelin men. I have Come two on. Libyan javelin Libya, Libyan javelin men here and two Libyan hoplites. I might get rid of these two hoplites here, and because that's just gonna reduce my upkeep, and I don't really need those units anymore. Um, so I'll I want some better units, but I have no freaking money. I need some money. <laughs> uh, money is always helpful. I guess I can make one unit. I'm not really interested either. You know what? I'm just gonna recruit more shitty units for this army in uh, in here. Uh, 17 units, yeah. We'll take two more of Libyan hoplites. Uh, no, we'll take two Libyan javelin. Then we have plenty of melee troops. That's a fairly scary army, to be honest. It's uh, it's got a lot of spears, so it has. It's just got a lot of men in it. Yeah, that too. I um, I reckon that'll be a pretty cool fight. Do you have uh, like a little bit of spare money? Yeah, I can, I can spare money. Um, yeah, because then I can fill up this army up to 20 men. That'll be a good idea. Uh, how much do you have? How much do you want? Uh, 200... Yeah, that's fine. No, uh, 200 something. Okay, yeah. I'll just ask for 250 then. I don't know exactly. I can't do the math right now because I'm an idiot. I have like 2.9k, so it's fine. Oh, nice. I didn't spend all that much last turn, so... Uh, oh, white Rome is up there. For some reason I scrolled all the way down, I was like, what the fuck, where's Rome? I, I think allies are at the top, aren't they? Oh, what's really annoying about this, mm. yeah, I can't ask for any number, I have to actually ask from 500. Oh, okay. well, I suppose that's fine. Alright. Uh, as a gift, yeah, I'll take a gift, thanks. Oh, <laughs> Can you please give me a gift? 
so then I can fill this army up. Yeah, I mean, you can get it back later. It's annoying. I I really don't like that. Cause it's, it's annoying you can't say what particular number you Yeah, because yeah. I had it before where I, I wanted to ask someone, like, hey, I'll, I'll take a peace treaty. And uh, he wanted, like, 800 and something bucks or whatever. So I was like, all right, well, I'll give you 200. And then I pressed forward, and it goes, like, oh, 1,000. No, I don't want to go 1,000. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I'll take another. No, I won't take a Libyan flight. I'll take another javelin men. And then I'll have seven javelin men and a whole load of hoplites. Yeah, that was, that's fine. And then that army is just going to fucking move on and take more towns because I can't be bothered sitting here forever. Yep. Although it's going to rebel soon. But hey, what are you going to do? <laughs> just got to get that under control. Yeah, you know, I might actually just attack uh, Nova Cartago and just take this army that's in Spain. And well, your just... allies, you mean? Yeah, well, it's probably the right time to do it. If you leave them too much longer, they'll get a bit more powerful, and that might be a bit of a pain in the ass to do later on. Yeah, exactly. And they've got like all these provinces that I need for like my own. And again, I need to half the world for my my own. So. Well, I mean, if you wait like five or six turns, which I know sounds a long, like a long time, um, I'll have my my Primarian army properly made, and I'll be able to come down and help you with it, because. It's possible if you declare war on them that your other allies will see you broken treaty and then break treaty with you. True, although I want to attack Libya at some point as well, so it's not too big of a deal. But if you, uh, like, are you are you not going to go north into Gaul or something? Oh, I am. I just don't need to do it immediately. Right, okay. I mean, if you need some help down in the south, I can do that first and then go up into Gaul. Um, yeah, actually, what, what might be decent if... Uh, actually, no, that wouldn't work. Shit. I thought like you could attack attack Libya while I attack Nova Cartago, but um, if you attack Libya and you take those provinces from them, then I'm gonna have one part of Africa which is Carthage, and then yeah. and then get, I would like, have the rest of it, and that would yeah, suck. Yeah, exactly. And then stupid province shit. Yeah, I mean, I, can you still do the gifting thing? On Not the... no province or no regions, no. No, I mean on the battle map because I can gift a guy to you and then oh, you right. to uh... my guys. Possibly, you would have to have a look at that. Actually, no, I don't think so because you can't like you can only have an entire army, including a general, and you can't like just have a general work for Carthage. I would assume. Oh yeah, maybe that's how they fix people doing that. Yeah, I think you were supposed to be able to do that. I don't know. It's a bit silly that I, I just think they should add at least at least add giving uh, regions in multiplayer. Like if you don't do it in single or player selling fine. regions. I mean yeah. the selling of regions happened all the time back in this ancient time. It did, yeah. Like they would give them a certain num amount of money and then they would come and basically be in your empire. Happened all the time. So there's no real reason why it shouldn't be in the game. Yeah, exactly. But I dunno. My biggest um downside per for me personally in this game so far is that, um, I told you this off camera, it seems like everyone is extremely weak, and I've, I haven't had a proper full stack army fight in a battlefield, only in um, sieges. Mm. And I, I really would just, I would just want to see some like cool fights, and I have, I have nice armies with car, or with uh, Rome as well, my single player, and I just can't use them, all I'm doing is auto-resolving, because no one has a proper army to deal with me. Well, see, that's kind of like historically accurate, I guess because, if you're playing Rome, yeah. Well, for everyone, actually, because in real life, battles were very rare events. Because a battle was a huge risk. So either you completely dominated the other side men-wise, and then they wouldn't fight you, they'd just surrender. Or you were the one who was surrendering. It was very rare for two like sides to actually be in the position where they would fight each other. I guess. either but... one or the other would be very much stronger than the other. This... Which is why it's very rare you get battles like the Battle of Karahe with uh, Hannibal and... Uh, was, was it Scipio Africanus, possibly? Uh, no, it was the guy before him, and I've forgotten his name, where they actually had a fight and one side, the Carthaginians, were significantly weaker. It's very rare that that actually happens, unless you're very even on battles, uh, on, on sides for your battles, and then you would just sort of watch each other for days on end, basically laying siege to each other. But... Why bother making a game called Total War if you're not going to have any proper fights? There we go. No, I, I completely agree. I think they're just trying to... Uh, are you going to auto-resolve this one this time? Yeah, we, we fought this one before just for fun, but I can't be bothered. I just want to lose it. Yeah. There's actually... 
A moderate chance of winning if I'm aggressive, but I don't want to win, so uh, no chance of winning and protective. All right, I'll take that. <laughs> Copus, stab him. I have to say, that was not in slow motion. No, it wasn't. Maybe they fixed it. Maybe. Oh, we lost. What a surprise. We, got, we killed one oh. of their units. Oh, that's good. Something. Yeah, that's the downside. Uh, last time when we fought this, we actually managed to kill the elephant uh, general, which would have been nice. Like, when Ptolemy attacks these towns, then that would have been nice that he was dead. Yeah, it but would have been nice, but... It's, you not, know it's not a massive deal, it's just it would have been nice. No, it's not the end of the world. Oh, we've got a war here. Liguria and Veneti. I have no idea who they are, so, yeah, they're at war. Apparently, I have, them. I have a content populace, apparently. Actually, I think those might be the guys above you. Liguria, Veneti? Yeah, they're above you. Oh, okay. And Liguria, as a, if, yeah, it looks like Liguria would probably win that, and then they have the entire province above you. Hold on. Liguria and Caneti. Where, where are they? Veneti, right, ab right above. Um, oh, Italy. they are. They got Patavum and. Yeah, Patavum. Oh, okay, so it's literally the, the two that are just above me. Yeah, although uh, the Ligurias, they also have the pro the pro or the uh, region like right next to, but well in the middle of them basically. Oh, uh, do they? Yeah, Medlin. How they're, can you tell? They're all Medlin in that shit. Um, uh, actually, if you hover over, not actually the town, but slightly before, you can actually see it says Medlin, Liguria. You don't see that? Nope. You just hover over your mouse, like over the region. What, on the map or on the mini-map? On the map. On the map? Yeah. No, it just tells me the province name on that one. Oh, it says me... It says to oh, me, yeah. wait. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Yeah, yeah, I okay. see. Okay. <laughs> Good. And, uh, and, and if that wasn't the case, I, I would have known, because I, obviously, for my single-player Let's Play. Yeah, I, I was just looking in the wrong place. I was being a herpadurp. A herpadurp? A herpadurp. Okay, herpadurp. Mm. Okay, I think... Yeah, you shouldn't think. It's a bad, bad idea. It is a bad idea. So I put my... My veteran is now inside... Oh, hold on. The So the champion is actually a veteran. So he, can he actually fight? Or is he, uh, he... Well, I know he's an agent, but he looks like a... Uh, a I'm not sure. I f For some reason, I feel like maybe they do fight. Like they're... I don't know. I feel like they're a good unit. Well, I'm 13 out of 20, and I have 13 fighting units plus the veteran. So I think maybe he's just like the the monks and things in yeah, yeah, at the end probably. of the, end the list, maybe. But I can't be sure. So I have way too many Hastati in this in this army. So let's take some of them out. Uh, okay, I can't apparently. Um. Maybe I should just disband them then. Yeah, let's just disband those four. They have a little bit of experience, some of them, but meh. Five meh. should be enough, and I should now... Yeah, I can now produce Principes, Triarii, and Equites as well. Nice. So, I'm going to get me three Principes right now. I can only get three per turn, yeah. So I'm going to get... Actually, I'll have five Principes and five Triarii. It'll take a little while to train all that. Uh, apparently I can only make a list of uh, eight units to build. And then it just stops allowing me to build any more, even though my army list isn't actually full. But that's okay. I'm fine with that. That'll just take me three turns. Well, yeah, three turns. I'll add another Triarii in there. I only yeah. have four Triarii. That'll work. So that army will be complete soon. And that's oh no, it's not that. It's that I've run out of money. That makes sense. Ah, in that case, does. I'll cancel the Triarii. So I was going to put some guys in the other army as well. I will also train. I'll have three Prince Pays in this army, and that should do that one. There you go. So I'll have six Hastati and three Prince Pays in my secondary army, and one Triarii as the general. Cool. And then my le first legion will have a mounted general with five, uh, five pre uh, principes, uh, five hastati, and three vilates, and uh, somewhere between three and five triarii. It depends what I want to do with that. 
Cool. I'll, I'll put in some cavalry if there's any space as well, because cavalry is kind of useful occasionally. Tis. Alright, and my spy is still on the way down to try and assassinate this guy. Apparently I have insufficient funds, but whatever. I don't particularly care. I just want you to get down here, okay? Okay, okay. Leave me yeah. alone. So actually, if I had the money, I could actually do this thing right now anyway, but... Meh. Intelligence. Oh. Okay, I can put her on intelligence mode. That's quite cool. So I can see what's going on here. Ah, so yeah, so I can see what his army is. So he has a general, seven militia hoplites, two slingers, and a javelin man. And uh, he gets another 11 units from his garrison. Yeah, which is probably mostly... It's pretty shit, but yeah. Yeah, four Rorii, so they're not too terrible. Three You're looking clubs. at the wrong one. Am I? Yeah. Oh, I am, yeah, right. Oh, I'm Syracuse. Oh, light hoplites, militia hoplites, citizen... Hoplites, four mob, and three slingers. Yeah, actually, that's not horrible, especially with those slingers in there. Yeah, true. Although, like, if you can get them into melee, they're dead. Right oh away. yeah, yeah, they're absolutely dead in melee. I feel like the uh, melee or range units in this game are even worse in melee than they were in Shogun. They are. They're absolutely horrendous. Yeah, it's like they get two taps and it's like, ah, oh, let's get out of here. Yeah, like they immediately route. That's yeah. just all they do. Uh. Yeah, that's everything, I think, so let's end turn, unless there's any technology or anything, but it'll tell me about that. Yeah. Oh, a huge leg lost. spike right there. Oh no, whatever will I do with this mission that I lost? Recruit the following champ uh, agent, champion. Yeah, same as you got. Yeah. Um, but I might do it, not sure. Troubled populace in Magna Gratia, whatever, I lost it already, so who gives a shit? Yep. Inspired populace in Africa, good. Uh, oh yeah, they're actually quite happy here. War declared, yep, that's what you told me about already. Research complete, let me do that then. I have to make a point here. Lilibaum, or however you want to say it, but that's how I want to say it, because it's a rebel territory, Syracuse may actually go and take that territory. Uh, Possibly, yeah. Because they'll be able to get there long before I can get there. But even if they do... I'll still fine. take it back from them, but yeah. you know, whatever. Uh, right, so... I am going to... Uh, get a shrine here. Uh, I'll get a shrine... Of Melkari, I reckon. Mm. Just want something that gives me. Actually, this one's better. 120 wealth from culture. Sure, we'll have that. Yeah, look at you being all pious. I know, right? I <laughs> um, right. So now the, this army here in uh, Alalia, I think I'm gonna start moving it down. Then again, if I do, this town is gonna go unhappy. So uh, let's deal with Spain first. Can this army get to? Yes, they can get to Gadira in one turn, so I think it might be worth just declaring war on them. Okay, sure. um, Nova, Cartago, where are you? There you are. Oh wow, they like me a lot. They like me 141. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> My clients stay. I'm trading with them as well. Like you uh, like them, but you'd rather have their territories. Yeah. And may the blessings of the gods Tribute you wow, they're under your protection. In exchange, send you a sum of money as a tribute per turn. Trouble you re tribute you re receive per turn zero. Well, thanks for that. <laughs> well, fuck them then. Yeah, I can die. You have ended your treaty with this fucking faction. I sure have. Uh, do they still like me? Oh yeah, they still love me. Uh, Ninety six. Uh, let's have a look at Libya. Did they get me anything? Or is it the same? Please it's probably the same because I started with them. Yeah, zero. Terms. Okay, so everyone's gonna die soon. That's really stupid because you. I guess it's because you start with them. I guess. Yeah. Oh, I should actually declare war on them. Do they have any allies? They do not. Do you want to join? Yeah, okay. sure. Why not? I got nothing else to do. <laughs> well, yeah, except for taking Syracuse at some point. But yeah. Yeah, at some point. There's no rush. All right. So this should be an auto. Yeah, definitely auto resolve. Uh, they actually get some uh, Garfutunian hoplites here. Huh. Uh, 90%, yep, we'll take that. And now I have to... Wow, that was a quick kill, holy shit. And yeah, we'll I, didn't, I didn't even see that, I didn't even zoom in. <laughs> it was like, look, dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he just so. slit his throat and that was that. Yeah, it looked like it. Alright, so I have Gadira. Good, so now I have this entire province. That's actually really good. Province under control, World of Wonder. Uh, Gazira, the Pillars of Hercules. You have captured a wonder. People will come far and wide to gaze upon its significance. Okay. There's Apparently. a wonder there? Apparently. Really? Um, it should be somewhere in the province then. I mean, we should be able to see it. I don't know I what don't. I don't know what the the wonder would be. What's it called? 
Uh, the Pillars of Hercules. Um. Mate. Oh, hold on. I didn't see it. Is it that? I have no clue. I have no clue what it would be. Fuck nice. Um, I, I, the only thing I can see is like you could, some uh, around here. Can I? No, not there. Here, like. No, fucking down here. Fucking hell, this arrow thing is so inaccurate. Well, like, a, that sticking out. There. The last one. I guess. No, it's really inaccurate. Fuck it. It's, uh, anyway, it's like a little thing, but I think that's not it. It doesn't it's look like, big It looks enough. like a port to me. Yeah, so. it looks like a port, but I have a port town, so I, I don't know why. I don't know. Fuck it. I don't know what it is. Screw uh, it. I don't know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't really matter at all. Doesn't really matter at all. Uh, right, so next turn, we're going to move on to... Tingus. So you've captured the first, uh, the first wonder of the, of the let's play. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> Wasn't planning on it, but I'll take it. <laughs> uh, right. So what else do I want to do? Again, I have a little bit of money left, but it's all shit money. Um, I guess I'll make one Libyan javelin man here, and that's my money gone. Don't they usually make money out of like metal? Metal. Yeah, you say it was shit money. Don't they usually use metal? <laughs> Uh, I know, I'm so funny. That's hilarious. Yeah. Right, um, how happy are you guys getting from my army being here? Eight. So if I leave, it's going to be down minus three. Screw it, I'm going to leave. Can't be bothered anymore. I, uh, get in the boats. We get in there. Oh, yeah, of course, we need to get out on the fucking sea first. And then get in the boats. And then go into double time. And now we can get proper fucking far. Units, double time! <laughs> Straight out of room. Yep. The better game. <laughs> Alright, so... I'm, I'm sorry, right now it is. At uh, this point in time, currently. Currently, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll give you that. But, um, I, if I had to choose, I'd still choose this game, just because it's more recent and all that. No. Uh, let's see, yeah, I think that's basically me done. I don't have a lot of money to do anything with. Um, hold on, actually, I might be able to recruit a ship. A ship? A ship, yes. <gasps> a ship? An entire ship. No, they're 340. I can't afford that. Screw it. So he's going places. He's getting ships. Uh, you can still... Oh, yeah, an edict. Yeah, let's do an edict. We have an edict there, and I guess I can do an edict here because I only have two provinces. So, uh, Kartuba is my main city. Let's have a look. Tax rate, food and public order, wealth from all commerce, building unit. Oh, that's actually not bad. Building construction costs minus five percent, minus five percent unit recruitment, recruitment costs and ship recruitment costs or building costs. That's not, not too bad when you're recruiting Ooh. at least. And a minus twenty percent mercenary hiring costs. I have like I have so many minus mercenary things, but I'm going to go for food and public order because that's awesome. Yeah, because even though it costs you less to recruit mercenaries, it still doesn't cost you any less to maintain them. Yeah. No, wait, hold on. No, no, yeah, it, yeah, that's it. Does, uh, yeah, um, but I have like minus forty or minus fifty-five percent from technology and uh, the faction. <laughs> it's like that. You're like, uh, yes, but uh, no, yeah, it's, yeah, uh, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> it's like make up your mind. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, so uh, it's like reduced recruitment costs and then uh, a lot of recruit uh, reduced uh, upkeep costs. But the thing is, I was thinking that was going to be very good. But even with the, I think it's now 55% re uh, reduced upkeep cost, it's still way more expensive than my regular units. Yeah. But it is good if you are in a jam somewhere and you need Yeah, exactly. And if I just need to get a few units, yeah, then it's definitely good. Yeah. The Athenians are most definitely on the warpath right here. Because they moved two armies up there. I didn't see how, how many was in them, but they definitely moved two whole armies. I do like that... Um, Things are different between this, for example, and my single player let's play. It means that not every single campaign is going to be exactly the same. For me, I'd be surprised if it was. Well, I mean, in in for example, in Shogun Ikoiki, always <laughs> best clan ever. Oh yeah, fuck the Ikoiki. Yeah, but um, yeah, in my single player one, uh, Sparta. Uh, this may actually be spoilers, but whatever. I don't really care. It doesn't really have any impact. Sparta has um, Larissa and Apollonia, and and obviously uh, Sparta as well. So they're yeah. actually going quite strong. I think Epirus ju is just about to die. They've just been taken by uh, whoever that, those guys are. Yeah, the so Ar they only have one uh, ship left over there, looks like. Yeah. The Ardiari or whatever. 
Hard yeah, I have no clue how you supposed oh, to pronounce yeah. that. Hard, hard D I. No, I'm not even gonna bother. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what's the point? <laughs> Life's too short. <laughs> It's gonna take me the rest of my life to figure that one out. Yeah, I said I was gonna stop recording these, these. Uh, oh, you keep forgetting. In ten things, I didn't forget <laughs> last time, but we were actually talking about relevant things, so I didn't. Oh right, okay. I didn't stop recording, but I'm thinking we're gonna do that now. I also have no idea when we stopped uh, or when we started recording this, by the way. So I have no idea how long we've been going for. Oh, um, I have a vague idea. Just get my clock up. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I reckon, thought I have an idea, but I just don't. I reckon about 40 minutes or so. Actually, hold on, I've stopped recording, so I can just alt-tab here. Oh, Hopefully yeah. it doesn't stop it. Oh, God. Did oh, it God. just stop it? Oh, God, no, I didn't. Not yet, anyway. All right, good. About 40 minutes I've been going for. Boom! I called it. Yeah, did you? I, no, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Yeah, I, I did say about 40 minutes. Ooh, Libya. I'm still uh, at peace with them, so... Wow, I'm actually lagging more now that I've stopped recording. That is that, just surprisingly that's awesome. That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> Liguria. Oh, are they gonna actually take that town now? I have no w, idea. Because they went to war with the uh, fee something. Luigi! Uh, Veneti. Yeah, that's the one. How does Luigi start with a V? No, 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 there was another clan on the top that said Lu Lu it says L-U-G-double-I, so I call it Luigi. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, you did see. And there's the media. Yep, and then the next one is media something else. <laughs> it's like media and then the... Uh, and there's mustache guy. Then the non-mainstream media. <laughs> hipster media. Yeah, hipster media. Ooh, no, What's Vakataga. going on there? Still getting, you know, they're still fighting the guys that wanted to be your protectorate, and then... You'd have bended them. It's like, guys, there are bigger threats right now. There definitely are. Now, was that an army or a navy that's coming towards uh, Hadashit? <laughs> Hadashit? I don't know. I think Hadashit would be good enough to defend that anyway, unless there's more coming. Yeah, it probably should be. Uh, but yeah, I might I might leave this province here with this army and just take Tingus and then just keep going all the way to Carthage and then move back into Spain again. Yeah, just keep marching along the way. Yeah. I actually have an ar the army uh, coming back to Carfit, so I have one army going towards it and one from Carfit, so I'll be able to take this very fairly cl quickly, and then one of them is going to stay here, and the other one will go back to Spain again. That makes sense. So then, uh, yeah, that's it's like a pincer attack. It is, isn't it? Yep. S get stuck between a rock and a different rock. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, Mr. Desert Rat, or the Desert Fox. You should should be rather. Desert rats for the other guys. The other guys. Yeah. Ooh, it's Ptolemy's turn. Not Rome, Ptolemy. Yeah, my turn. Ah, well, Nova Carthagia was forsaken by their masters, apparently. Oh, what prick masters, how dare they? Yeah, what an asshole. Who does that? <laughs> what a dick, man. Jeez. Forsaken by their masters because their masters attacked them. That's oh, just... apparently I can suggest a target to my allies. Oh yeah, suggest me to attack Nova Cartago. Yeah, I, I think you should do that. Okay, I will. Oh yeah, it first started, all well, got Lord. declared war on by some guys and then they took their town. I already saw that happen, so... I've inspired populace in Magna Gratia. Whatever. House size expands, plus five temples. Which actually does anything on this. Uh, replace or send to pool. Which of the one is the ones I can actually use? Um. Hold on, what, what's, what's the question? Uh, when your household expands, yeah, and you have the option to go replace or send to pool, yeah. which is the one you can actually use in, well, with any of your generals or whatever? Uh, it doesn't matter. Like, even if you just, com if you, if you, even if you did, don't choose either one of them, they go to the pool anyway. Um, and then you can always select it, like, later on. It will always be in the pool. Oh, so they're always there regardless. Yeah, exactly. So I guess the option oh. is just there if you don't want to like click replace, you just click. See, I was thinking it was replacing someone else in your pool uh, rather than oh, replacing right, no. the active one. Yeah, no, yeah, it replaced the active one. Uh, I probably should actually go through and check with my generals which ones they are actually using right now, because oh, I, I have no it? idea. This guy's got plus five morale for units with loaded dice. That's good, actually. That's probably what I want. What I want. Yeah, I like that one. I just realised I hadn't hit record again after fucking turn ended. You didn't miss them. I didn't miss much, guys. I was just 
rambling on about nothing. <laughs> See, this is why I'm not going to edit that shit out. <laughs> yeah, but it's so much effort. Anyway, see, it, this is your fault. Whoever said I should stop, uh, I should edit out. <laughs> this is stuff. on you, man. This is on yeah. fucking you. Someone's going to go back through the comments and we'll start blaming you. That, this is what happens. All right. So, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I can either go for like plus five armor or more morale. Both of those are good, but I think probably morale is better than armor right now. Yeah. Armor is good if you have like a lot of uh, triari and things like that. Just like heavy armor troops, and an extra five percent morale or five percent uh, armor, and it's fucking they'll be un undefeatable. Yeah, see, I'd managed to switch this general from morale or armor over to plus one cunning, which is definitely not what I wanted. Not really, no. Because I, I hit replace instead of send to pool, so I was thinking that it was replacing someone in the pool. Ah. It's, like, it's like I'd quite like to have that in the pool, but. <laughs> yeah. But it's not what I actually want to use right now. Yeah. Uh, fleet defense and fleet attack. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep that for my fleet, and he can keep moving where he's going. So, my army is starting to shape up now. I want to add another principate to that. So I'll have. Actually, no, I don't want another principate to that. I want to have five, and I will have. Holy to put crap! In the... Look at that rebel army over there, by the way. Massive. 15 out of 20 units in that rebel army in Lilybaeum. Oh, is it? I haven't actually looked. I will look in a minute. It's bigger, bigger than the one in Syracuse. So Syracuse has got no chance of taking that now. <laughs> well, that's good, actually. Unless Syracuse builds a bigger army in order to do it. Unless it's Spartacus, then there's, there's no chance of us even taking it. Oh, yeah, don't fuck with Spartacus. He'll mess you up. <laughs> Alright, so... My Legion will be Legion Two will be finished soon. Good. I think I think I probably got way too many Hastati here to be honest. Actually, I think I will add one more Principe in there. Actually, no, I won't put a Principe. I'll put in a Triarii. Because then I'll have two Triarii, three Principe, and five, no, six Hastati. That'll work. But the first Legion is going to be the one that's doing most of my footwork anyway. The second Legion is just going to be. You know, back up in case I need them anywhere and sort of home guard defense, you know? Yeah. So, am I coming down to help you in the south or am I going to start marching north? Uh, well, I would take the rest of Magna Gracia first, like Syracuse and all that. Alright, well, in that case, my army needs to start moving south. You can go through sea, right. it'll probably be faster. Yeah, but we're still recruiting right now, so we can't all do right, it at the moment. Yeah. But it's good to know where I'm going. And I'm pretty sure I can't spend any money anywhere either. No, I'm pretty sure we are done with that. How is technology doing? It must be getting fairly close. Two more turns until cohort organization. Cool. Now, do the like legionaries and veteran legionaries uh, actually level up the guys we had? Mm. Or do we have once to... You, uh, once you unlock them, you can pay 100 each, I think, and then you just upgrade your hostility to legionaries good i heard that happened because i know in, in rome one you had to just build fire brand new units yeah but I, I heard that had been a change so that's good i'm i'm happy with that yeah All you right. like something about the game yeah that, this, that's one of the few things i like so <laughs> far increase in rank jezebel cool troops recruited libyan javelinman trade gained good uh intelligence plus 10 percent chance of discovering hidden agents and armies that's not bad yeah, that is Edict good. issued, war declared between those guys. Household expense plus one to forty when leading a ship. Don't give a shit. Harbor <laughs> uh, is okay. Made cool. Right. Um, yeah, Jezebel over here leveled up. Let's do her. Let's do Jezebel. Is oh, she yeah. in the uh, in the army? Uh, yeah, she's in the, on the boat in the army. Oh, in that army. Okay. Yeah. Because you've got like two armies right now. Yeah, I do. Three even. Well, yeah, but that one that's in Carthage isn't going to do anything. Yeah. Uh, anyway, level up. Let's see. I want to get uh, military intelligence. Don't care. Counter them. Don't care. Cunning. Poison provision. The boys on wells. Don't really care. Uh, coerce and commit arson. No. I'll take this one and I guess poison provisions and all that. It's not bad. Uh, right. So army. Get over into Carthage. And, what the hell is that? Replenishing return. 
There's a really weird icon. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Right, you guys need to go and exchange with this man. I need all these Libyan javelin men in there. So uh, now you can move out of Carthage for a second so he can actually get in. We cannot. Yeah, you cannot get the fuck out. There is a fleet of your your allies here, right outside Lilibaum, with like six ships, I think. Oh yeah, I saw them. See the ships or a natural army, I'm not quite sure which. That rebel army is huge. Alright, and you're gonna keep moving all the way uh, over here. And then you will recruit some men. Uh, and I guess I have uh, the money. If I don't build any uh, any buildings right now, I can actually get uh, some good units. I don't really want Carthaginian hoplites because I mean I have the Libyan hoplites. They're a slight improvement, but I can't really be bothered with that too much. Yeah, there's um, not a lot of reason to upgrade them until you can get a really good upgrade. Yeah. When you've got um, that many of them anyway. For some reason, though, I get like uh, my base morale is red, so I'm guessing I'm getting less morale, but I don't know. What that be from? I must have like a general or something that has something like that. Possibly. Uh, household? No, no, not him anyway. What about you? What are you doing? Uh, construction costs? That's not it. Uh, plus five percent morale for you. No, that's not you. I don't know why that is then. Uh, actually, did I? Yeah, I did take the elephant dude. That's cool. Right, well, screw it. I guess we'll just have some, some morale issues. Gonna make Libyan infantry if I can. Why the elephant it? dude. Oh crap, I can't muster new units in this form. Well, actually, what I'll do is I'll just make them with this army. And I'll just put them over. Yep. Uh, I'll take Are you ready to three serve? Libyan infantry. Uh, and that will fill me up to 17. I guess I actually will want three more then, so I'll be a little bit before I go over. Right, uh, Spain. How happy is this town here? Eight happiness. What if I were to move out? How happy would it be? Uh, minus two. I think I can deal with that. Ready Let's go and take fire. more towns. Tingus. I'm gonna have to actually do this as a. Oh no! I can attack it from a across the border. That's pretty cool. I suppose that is pretty cool. <laughs> it's a bit unrealistic, but they've actually got a a navy or something in the way there, by the looks of it. Yeah, I think that maybe their garrison navy or something. Well, possibly. Is, now it's gone. And so thank you for that town. At your command. Oh, look at that massive. That's that's okay. So I guess there's only one more region there. So I might even just uh, leave no, this again. They have two regions. They've got. The, oh yeah, the islands. Uh, but yeah, I mean, just yeah. between me and Carthage, there's only one more region. Of course. Oh, and they've got plague down there as well. Crap. Where's that? That army has plague. Well, that general. There, there are two no, the Carthago, uh, Carthago generals down there. The Sacred Company has plague. Oh, I don't actually see that. Is that look like an effect above them or something? Yeah, it's like a green... It's like someone farted on them. Yeah, I, normally I see that, but I don't see it on him. Oh, well, whatever. Well, I, I can definitely see it, so they definitely have it. Hopefully he doesn't spread it on me. No, I think he might spread it to the other general, but... Possibly. Uh, actually, what I'd want to do, I want to cancel these three units because I'm better off just getting right next to him and then recruiting them so I can not have to waste too much movement speed. Make this free Libyan infantry, please. Thank you. Uh, and that leaves me with 65 bucks, which I guess I'm not going to be able to do much with. Alright, well, I think if you're nearing the end of your turn, you should probably wrap up soon. Alright, uh, this is weird. I just took Tingus, and it says I have a world of wonder. Guess what it's called? The Pillars of Hercules. Oh, maybe so there's like one on either side. Okay, so maybe it is then what I saw there. Maybe. I don't know. Because I honestly, I don't understand. Anyway, Salmon captured Tingus. That's some, uh, I, I know the, on, on Sparta you've got the roads thing. We can actually see it. Let's, if you hover over it, it doesn't actually see, say isn't, anything. Isn't that the Strait of Gibraltar right, through there? Or am I thinking of completely the wrong place? I have no clue. Isn't that the Gulf of Mexico? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think that's the the, the Strait of uh, Gibraltar. We cannot do that. I don't know. You might be right. I have no clue. Ooh, actually, this is great. Um, yeah, I actually gonna I'm gonna be able to leave Tingus right away if I want to because uh, 
this town is quite happy. That's cool. So I think I'll, I'll probably leave it. Um, I might stay here for a little bit until my army can catch up, and then my other army is gonna deal with the rest of this and also take that little island, Ebos. Well, I might take that with the other army. I'm not sure. Mm. Um, but that's um, all gonna be dealt with pretty soon. So I'm happy about that. You and your lightning warfare. I know, right? I just I don't take that much time. I just I, I only need two seconds, man, and it's all done. Did Hitler that's learn his said. Blitzkrieg from you? Uh, I'd rather not comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway, if we're going to end it then, then uh, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. So, um, yeah. I would say not a whole lot happened, but I did actually take a few towns. And I took Tingus, and I took uh, Gadira over here as well. And besides that, I am got my army moving down from uh, Alalia... Uh, it's now in Carthage, and it's going to move on from Carthage, take uh, the rest of uh, North Africa. You are uh, about to move down with uh, your army to take Syracuse and Lilibeum. Yeah, with a proper Primarian army, not just Astarte. Yeah, exactly. And then uh, after that, I'm guessing you're going to move north into Gaul at some point. And, uh, That's the fun. plan, yeah. Right, so I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we shall see you next time. See you then.